The GroupWise Home folder is a personalized view of your most important information, and a good home folder allows you to work, collaborate, and browse information more effectively than ever. In this video, I'll introduce you to the GroupWise 2014 Home Folder, and then walk you through the creation of a distinctive Home Folder view to show you how you can customize it to fit your personal work style. The first time you open your Home Folder, you see an introductory page that explains how to customize it. Then you can display your default Home Folder. The Home Folder helps you get the most out of your items by using panels to display the information in sections. The default Home Folder displays your calendar for the day, your task list items, and your unread messages. Every panel can be resized by clicking in the area between and then dragging to the desired size. The drop down arrow menu on each panel is where you begin when making a view that is distinctly yours. The menu, revealed with a click, provides options for managing your panels, either individually or as a group. For example, Maximize or Close will expand or close the panel you're clicking, while Edit allows you to modify that panel's settings. Adding a panel or a column allows you to add a new piece of information, or to create more lateral space in which to place panels. Span All Columns extends the selected panel across the entire home view. Last but not least, Customize Panels opens a powerful menu that lets you modify your home folder as a whole. Now that you're familiar with the components of the home view, I'll show you how to customize it by making a specialized view called the Universalist. This view is designed for users who want to access a wide variety of information and functions from a single location. I'll begin by deleting the existing panels, so I can start with a clean slate. For this view to work, I'll need to make some custom panels, so I click New Panel in the Customize dialog. This will be a mailbox panel, so I'll name it Mailbox. And then I'll use the Change Folder button to select the Mailbox folder. I would like my mail to show details such as the date and CC recipients, so I select to view by details. I want to customize the display in other ways too, so I click More Display Settings. In this Mailbox panel, I only want to see the items that have been sent to me, not the ones that I've sent to others, so I deselect Sent. I also want to see my newest items on top, so I set the sort order to descending, and then click OK. I'll situate this first new panel before I move on to making others. I add it to column 1, along with the provided summary calendar panel. Then I make a quick change to the summary calendar panel by selecting it and clicking Edit. On the Display tab, I select Reminder Notes, so that I won't miss any calendar items. With that done, I'm ready to create another new panel. Just as before, I click New Panel, and this time I name it Web Search. I choose the selected Web Page Radio button and put in the address of my favorite search engine. For this home view, I'll create one more new panel named Contacts. Then I'll change the folder to Frequent Contacts. I need to see details, as well as change a few other display settings for this panel. In this home view, I would like to see my contacts in columns. To finish my layout, I'll add the Web Search panel, Task List panel, and Contacts panel to the second column, and then click OK. The home folder updates with my new layout, and with some minor panel size adjustments, I can use this view to take in a lot of information very quickly. If, after experimenting with customizing my home view, I want to share my creation with another user, I can do so easily. I simply select the home folder from the folder list. Then I click View, Display Settings, Send Current at the top of the screen. A mail message opens with my home view configuration attached, and instructions for importing it are automatically included in the message body. The GroupWise 2014 Home View is a powerful way for you to customize GroupWise and make your work even more efficient. If you'd like to see two more example Home Views, please watch the other Customizing the Home View videos. You can find links to these in the video description. 
To learn more about Novell GroupWise, please visit novell.com slash documentation. Thanks for watching.